What's up, guys? It's Jacorn and Xavier, and we're back with more Ed and Netty by popular demand. Possibly, maybe. Yeah, we're going to level two anyway. Jimmy refuses the Ninka Poops from entering his celebration. Hello! Oh, bye! What? Wait a minute! Yeah, you like Rolf keep us from this party? It's not Rolf, it's the fence. Oh, I know, I know! We can go through the stinky sewers like the bacteria abusing blob in I was a teenage Oh no, it seems terribly risky and unsanitary, to say the least. It'll be a cinch! Come on, boys. We got a party to catch. <laughs> I love the way he just walks yeah. off to the side, like, yeah. Pin the tail on the Ed. I do like how he ended everything with Ed. Or had Ed in there. Well, he did that in the show, too. Oh, no, I know. I'm just saying, in general. I think this is the Eddie heavy level. Uh -huh. Probably next level would probably be uh, double D. Well, I mean, combat-wise, it's Eddie heavy, because there's a lot of things to kill. And surprisingly, I think Eddie is the best at killing you. Also, crocodiles. Now, what, what, what kids fight crocodiles? Um, the Ed boys. He's gonna go around that. The radioactive uh, barrels. I'm assuming if you hit the barrel, you probably get hurt. Yeah. elementary, Eddie. If we move down into the water on the other side, you two can lift me up to that crank. I'll lower the bridge, allowing us to cross together. If I pull from I smell cheese and onion buns. <laughs> cheese down here. Okay. Right, crocodiles. I don't know why your coolness goes down when you get hit by a crocodile. I would think that red should show up and go fear. If that's what I'd be getting, I'd be, I'd be uh, scared if uh, a crocodile was attacking me. Uh. Now, don't use a germaphobe, right? Yes. So, and we're in a sewer. Yeah, like, how, how did he come down here? Um, I'm going to assume they forced him down. Intriguing. He always says something like, my, my, intriguing, or this should work, and it's really annoying. Okay, so I can't just... For the longest time, too, I always thought WD was your girl. I think we all did. You know, I was trying to avoid a fight. Like, look at, look at Eddie's <laughs> face, like, I don't even care. I can do a yo-yo. Wanna well, see yo-yo trick? Do you see the, do you see the people I had to put up with? Also, Jawbreaker in the sewer. I would not eat that. Apparently, they would. Funny thing about the Jawbreakers, they all, they all have like flavors and whatnot, like specific flavors. So they have three of them right now. Yes. They. And they're still doing things. <laughs> Rat spawner over here somewhere, right? Yeah. Not. Yeah, I'm wrong. There's a thing right there. Um, is it Ed who needs to go through this? Apparently not. Oh. Hmm, this should work. Intriguing. <laughs> That's the rat's horn. Let's see. Uh, do do do. Yeah, so that's a thing in the sewer. <laughs> Every single time. 
Boy, it just it, it kind of a feel right there putting a green crocodile and a green slime. Now I just walking right into him getting hit. But I do like how they give you a lot of health back. I mean, it better. Oh, yeah, clams. Also, I think I was taking damage during that. Ah, oh, jeez, I forgot what the clam. <laughs> Knocking things there. over. I, I like how the crocodile knows which one you're playing as, too. Yeah, it just lets the other two live. Wow. Okay, I'm pretty sure. A double D here. Oh no, you need a uh, Eddie. No, you need oh, double D. Mm. Oh, I didn't see that platform there. Yeah, it's uh, a little dark. But unfortunately, I still remember a lot of the puzzles. Also, this is one powerful yo yo. Bending pipes and everything. <laughs> this is like how that pipe just. just goes. Okay. You know, it's funny, you'd think, like, that Ed would have, like, the best attack. Considering he's Ed. But no, no, it's Eddie. Eddie's got the best attack in the game. Because he actually added a weapon. Except for in the, uh, one of the bonus levels. Uh, then Double D's got the coolest weapon. You know what I've been looking forward to seeing? Hmm. The Ed monster. Um, that's spoil something for you? Or you want me to leave this spoiler free? No, you can spoil it, because I think I already know. I mean, that, this, that, this, this game's ten years old, and if people are getting, getting mad because they don't know it, then... <laughs> Alright, well, one of the special levels, the first special level, actually, is you get to play as, um, Edzilla. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm excited for. My latest disco move. And Johnny's down here. Yeah, you know, fishing for clams. May I see that for a moment? Mike's our first double D. Finders keepers. <laughs> oh, come on, Johnny, it's a stupid valve. You catch another one. What's that, Mike? You want them to do what? <laughs> now is uh Captain Johnny in this? Captain Melonhead? Yeah. No. No. Captain Melonhead, I believe, came out after this game. Oh, okay. Oh. Let me handle this. Alright. It's a shame they never made another game after this. No, actually, there was, um, three Ed and Eddie games. Really? I think it's three. One's on the Game Boy Advance. Okay. I mean, they're, they're not direct sequels to this in any, any manner. But there are. Is this the last one that came out? I think this is the first one. I'll, I'll uh, Google it while you're. Cause I can do that. Oh, by the way, the cankers are down here too. My my. Intriguing. <clears throat> This is probably one of my least favorite segments. Just gotta deal with the clams and all that. <laughs> What's the number for 911? Uh, I don't know. I wish I could remember more quotes. Because then this, this, this playthrough would just totally devolve into quotes of Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen the show. Ah. I'm getting clammy. I'm pretty sure if young viewers watch this, they probably won't agree with what I say, but the older Cartoon Network shows, 
Or how a lot better than the new Cartoon Network shows. Yeah, it's nostalgia. So I tried to watch Billy and Mandy a while back, and it's it's not good. But would you say it's better than uh, Adventure Time? And... Now, that's a loaded question. <laughs> and, um... Because I did like Adventure Time at one point. I didn't think it was, like, the best show. Well, what, hey, that, cool job, Rick. What's that bird one? The bird. Finn and... F uh, regular show? Yeah, a regular show. Would you say it's better than a regular show? No, I love regular show. It's my favorite. <laughs> It's probably in my top three favorite gardens. My first being it. Oh, okay, maybe top four. Being Ed and Eddie, Billy and Mandy, Chowder, and then regular show. Hey, Johnny! <laughs> Looks like you forgot about your best pal. No, Frank! So, how about that valve, Johnny? Also, those clams are trying to eat the wood. High in fiber. Remember when Ed and Eddie held Plank for ransom? No. There's some dark themes in this game. Also, I'm almost out of coolness. So if you die, do you have to start all over? You know, I don't remember. But I remember you can get coolness back, like, really easily. Maybe if you can pick it up. <laughs> I'm supposed to just, like, auto-fly into you. Okay, let's get out of there. Let's move the camera around a little bit. Oh, wow, there's, like, four, three of them. There's a lot of crocodiles. <laughs> You know what the best thing is? No. The best thing is I'm totally aware of the of the area I completely avoided. What's the area that you avo avoided? Y you remember back when we saw the first clam? It's yeah. back there. Oh. You have to go there? No, no. The only thing back there I think is the jawbreaker and the chicken. Look at this amazing party. Yeah, it's like nobody's here. Let's see, I think you need... Yeah, there we go. Where are those pinatas? <laughs> I think it's one of them. No, it's not the water one. I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I'm afraid I can't help you with that. Eddie, get over here. Oh, wait. The tower of bed? It's not the tower of bed. How do I do this? Oh, sure. Oh, okay. Ah. That's time my one of these plants, how long it takes to get out of those. By the way, there were cats in that pinata. Hey, who, who's back there was this? This is the uh, Jimmy's. So, we, Jimmy's like a, a cat beater. He just shoves them into pinatas, why not? You guys all think he's the innocent one, but deep down, he's he's pretty dark. Also, we put a jawbreaker in a thing. Anybody want to take any bets on what's in the last one? Probably something's going to take. Look at the texture underneath that flower. <laughs> it's like we're in Minecraft. Ooh. What's up, cat beater? I think we stopped you. <laughs> and he sticks women. He's a women <laughs> animal beater. <laughs> I 
I like how now Ed just figured out what's going on. It's gonna turn into a chase scene. No. It's gonna turn into this. I don't quite remember how to do this. He sticks refrigerators in his thing too. Okay, so I got the bees. <laughs> That's what happens when you when you lose. You, you just I guess go back to the things that are in your design. Also, I <laughs> dropped a refrigerator on her and then they all popped out of there. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do this fight, but I can't remember and I don't care. Is she further back? Oh, okay, yeah, I don't know. Oh, cool, we beat it. Wow. <laughs> Anticlimactic. Uh, you know, that's exactly what I look like right now. <laughs> what? What's up, woman beater? <laughs> woman cat beater. She was so smug. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, that's gonna be it for uh, episode two. That was uh, interesting. We find out we find we find out a lot about little Jimmy there. His dark secrets. Maybe, maybe our truth was right with something. If anybody gets the WWE reference, and we're out.